I'm going to demonstrate actually today <laughs> hi I'm Russ Andoval and today I'm going to be working on my kiln I'm going to be lining the kiln with this cable here uh, we're going to show some anchor supports that I've dreamed up to use nothing that I've found uh, I haven't found anything on the market. I haven't found anything uh, on the market to show, to, to anchor the K wall to the wall. So I've had to invent some things. Some of the things I'm trying are these uh, anchor supports to hold sculpture. And I'll uh, drill holes in the wall of the kiln and uh, uh, put kiln cement into the wall and then glue this into the, the kiln wall. I'll probably cut this back about um, three inches is what I figure. Now the kiln cement that I found, I found some kiln cement Good old bucket of kiln cement. Uh, and I want to force it into certain areas. So I took a, an a uh, into the holes, for instance. I took an old uh, uh, caulking gun and I took a, a caulking uh, cap capsule and emptied it and pushed the kiln cement into the uh, the, the uh, caulking cartridge. Uh, and what I'm going to do is put it in here and nobody makes anything like this. They couldn't dream up to do this. So that I can put the caulking into the holes in the uh, uh, kiln, force it in just like you would caulk, and I think that that will will hopefully work. We'll see if it 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 uh, does the the job here for me. Hopefully, it will. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna ooze out just fine into those holes. Well, I'm inside the kill, and I'm going to place the caulking up behind this pad. I've secured the kawol with pins that look like this. I've bent these pins to uh uh this part of the pin to be straight and this part is going to go into the the brick this will bend over and hold the the uh, kaya wool to the wall along with the kiln cement there's a good shot of of what I've done with these nickel chrome wires I have several other things I'm going to attach back in there too so putting this back in here this one some of them will be drilled as I said before and uh, I'll drill into the brick and, and force the, the um, kiln uh, cement into the hole and glue the, uh, the rod in there now this is how I'm going to uh, use the caulking gun to to put the kiln cement all along here if it will work it should work best laid plans of mice and men. This is not 
not working. Well, I'm going to try to put the kil kiln glue back behind this uh, KOL blanket and then stick the KOL uh, up onto these hooks and hopefully that will work. Good old kill cement. Take the trowel and just apply it here up behind the blanket and it should stick. when the kilns fire and help uh, keep the, the kiln uh, sealed. I may force them into these brick holes too. There's some holes in the brick. Now hopefully this will help uh, hold the, the Kao will in here and the Kao will will um, the Kao will will refract the uh, the heat and better than just the plain brick and I hope to save some cash. Okay. As you can see, I hope you can see, I've put patch all uh, across the top of the kill and put some uh, these I put the nails into the the kiln wall, glued them in and uh, I'm ready to put up the blanket. And I'll force the blanket onto the nails and bend them over. And hopefully, I've, everywhere you see kill patch, there's a nail sticking out. So let's see how this goes. I cut this and measure it to fit up in here. And, and, uh, yeah, it's going to force through like this. We bend these over. There's ten of them. Gonna go up in these corners. Uh. Hopefully these will hold to kill the uh, blanket to the wall and it won't fall down in the middle of the firing, heaven forbid. Rigidizer, the, the kiln glue, it's going to stay down in here. Just hopefully keep this to the, the wall. And that's my idea. 